All right, folks, it is time to go and do the update because I have found that my foreskin is Android version 1.2.6, kernel version 2.3.5. So we're going to go ahead and update to the newer version. So we're going to close that out and jump into the Play Store, which I already have it. And it does say that this is the new version in an update that I found on my phone. And of course, I've already paid for it, so we're going to go ahead and uh, update the Foreskin Lite to the newer version, uh, which is a 1.2.7. It is a demo for the Android but it is preparing for the uh, database update and migration to the new core which is a 2.3.7 so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on that now I gotta take and uh, delete something here on there because apparently I don't have enough space so I will go ahead and delete uh, a couple of these here because apparently my phone's running out of memory, so I'm going to have to go through and clean a few things up. That's one thing I don't like about the cheap phones is you don't get much uh, memory on them. I think it only had like 16 gigabyte. You know, I could surely use about 32 at least. But let's go ahead and get this uh, installed. And then we'll check and see if it does have the new version updated open it up and let's check the version and there we have it for scan and it is a kernel version 2.3.7 just as they said so uh, the kernel's been updated and the Android app is now the 1.2.7 so if you don't have this for your uh, phone by all means go and get it want to update firmware on my OBD Lynx MX and this is the program that I got to use in order to do it and apparently we got to go to connect first there we go we'll do the connecting to it No, I don't want to edit. I would just want to do the uh, update. So now we can go to the settings. And let's do firmware. Now I'm version 4.0.2. It says this device is up to date. So let's check for updates. So we're going to check for updates. And now I have 4.2.3, so I download the firmware, that was quick, and we update the firmware, and the firmware is updating to my OBD Lynx MX see the yellow light flashing like mad orange light I guess now red and now green now blue see it's all done so now my firmware is up to date as you can see firmware version 4.2.3 so I can go ahead and get out of that and I can exit out of it now what I really want to see is how does that affect my foreskin we're gonna see if we can't get connected here once I get connected anyway so I've been updating everything here lately even updated the foreskin light to the newest one so now the firmware is updated. I just wonder how that's all going to affect everything. 
and as you can see I have nothing so I have to add PIDs again so I'll just go ahead and add my PIDs always battery voltage cat temps cylinder head temperature engine coolant temperature EQ rat 1, EQ rat 2, fan speed desired, run that one, don't run that, so we go with the fuel pump, fuel pump monitor, check that, always go with the maximum current available in ampers, Check the voltage. Yeah, I always like to know what the uh, injectors are getting. Knock sensors I'm not worried about. Long term fuel trim. Yeah, both of those. Mass airflow sensor. There we go, short term fuel trims. And we should come up to a transmission fluid temperature. We'll probably just stick with those. That seems like it's enough. Let's go ahead and hit these up and see what we're doing. And for whatever reason, my cat temps are still reading different gauges. I ain't never figured that out. But that is the way it is, I guess. But, uh... Looks like everything is doing good. I'm in idle. Let's see. Short term fuel trims, transmission fluid, math is doing good, long term fuel trims. Looks like we're in good money right now.